What's up guys, how's it going? It is Matt here. So I've been watching some more security footage and I have to say this, when it is time to stop shooting, you need to stop, you need to disengage, you need to move on. Let's get into it. Watching a lot of videos when it comes to actually uh, armed security or armed defense, what you say, armed defense when someone's trying to rob someone or break into a home or something like that. One thing that I see a lot of, okay, and I see this a lot, is a lot of people don't understand that you can know that, that when the threat is no longer a threat, you cannot chase them, you cannot shoot at them, you cannot continue attacking them. Um, legally, you cannot do that. Even if it is a stand your ground law, you can't just chase someone down in the middle of the streets and shoot them, all right? It's not a good idea. Stand your ground law. What that means is that if someone comes to attack you or whatever it is, whatever the situation is, you have the right to use lethal force to defend yourself. That's pretty much what it means. If it's a violent action, you have the right to, le to legally defend yourself with a firearm if there's a possibility that you can die. That's pretty much what stand your ground is. That doesn't mean that someone robs you. All right, and you you pull you manage to get your gun after they rob you, and that now you can chase them down the street and shoot at them while they're running down the street away from you, trying to get away, and you cannot continue chasing them. Is is your is your iPhone really that it, is worth it? Is is your iPhone worth that you know extra time in jail? Um, is is your wallet worth that uh, jail time? Is honestly worth a lifetime in prison because of you shot someone and you chased them and you shot them down? You cannot do that. You have to know the difference between when you can shoot and when you cannot shoot. Now, if someone is running away and they're shooting in a randomly in a random direction, yes, you can engage them. But if you've engaged them and they start running away and they are not actively engaging you or not actively engaging their firearm, you have to stop. You cannot follow them. You cannot chase them. If you want to, feel free to, but you'll end yourself up in jail for killing someone. You cannot do that, okay? So stop chasing people down over petty things like the cash that was in your pockets, the freaking five bucks that was in your pocket, the wallet, your phone. That crap can be replaced, okay? That crap can be replaced. But earning jail time for doing something stupid like that because the threat was no longer a threat and you decided to chase them down and continue engaging them when they're not a threat, they're not shooting anyone, what that will do, it will separate your family, take you away from your family, it will put you behind bars, and when you get out, you probably won't be able to purchase a firearm ever again. Ever. Keep that in mind. If you find yourself in a defensive situation and you are getting shot at, shoot until they are no longer a threat to you. If you can legally shoot, which means all other means have failed. If you can legally shoot, shoot until they are no longer a threat to you. Once they are no longer a threat, once they are no longer engaging you, stop right stop assess the situation what just happened what did i lose what it is take mental pictures call 911 let them know that do not chase them down the neighborhood and shoot at them there's people that have kids that live in the houses that may be down that neighborhood there's other people walking the streets there's other people in their businesses that you could be engaging while you're trying to shoot a guy that's running away stop it anyway guys if you like this video like share subscribe Tell your friends about me. Remember, it's our responsibility to take care of each other and protect each other. Peace.